I'm uh, Don Smith. I'm a professor at McGill University, and I'm the CEO and scientific director of BiofuelNet Canada. BiofuelNet is a network of centers of excellence. We coordinate the people and the research, and ultimately the development of the technologies that will allow the entire sector to play a large role in Canada's developing bioeconomy. First, let me welcome everybody to uh, our Advanced Biofuel Symposium. We're very happy to have the attendance and happy to have everybody here. We're currently running the, the Advanced Biofuel Symposium here in wonderful Vancouver. It brings together researchers and associated industries to talk to each other about technologies, etc., across the value chain. Our transportation sector is one area where we can really be of great assistance. We need to shift the discussion about biomass from being a waste to being a product. What we hope for is for lively discussions uh, around uh, challenges and opportunities for mobilization of uh, forest biomass for biofuels. My name is Evelyn Tsfou. I'm an assistant professor at uh, Laval University. I'm in charge of the forestry uh, task force. We work on the unloved woods, that, that we call it. Trees and parts of trees that the, the conventional uh, wood product industries, they don't know what, uh, what to do with it. It's part of their waste and uh, residue stream. We don't need the washer either. It really just goes straight up. The strength of uh, BiofuelNet is that it brings together uh, scientists that work on the feedstock production, on the conversion technologies and on policy. My name is Dr. Richard Chandra. Here at the University of British Columbia, we work on the biological conversion process, taking apart biomass to break it down into a liquid fuel as part of project three in the biofuel net. For the first time in my career, I can work with uh, scientists in conversion technologies and understand uh, their needs. So then we can work on forest feedstocks that actually have an interest for uh, conversion technologies. I'm Professor Murray Thompson of the University of Toronto, director of the Combustion Research Lab. My personal research is more on the engine side, but it's important that we talk to the conversion people to realize you know, what fuels are they proposing and then how can we enable that fuel to be used in the aircraft industry. By building these linkages, you, you get a better idea about the entire field, where, where things are going and what the barriers are and what the problems are. If we want to keep that two degrees global mean temperature change in sight, we are looking at about a 300 exajoules, 10 to the 18 joule of biomass deployment in the second half of this century. And this is strong argumentation. You need it, there's no alternative. When BiofuelNet was conceived, there was a new report had just come out on, on biofuels in the future. And what they were talking about was by maybe the middle of the century being somewhere around, I think they said 27% biofuels globally, and we're looking at maybe 25. There are huge economic benefits that co would come out of that. 100,000 clean tech jobs, 24 billion dollars a year in economic activity. It's a nice way to get us off fossil fuels and onto some more renewable and sustainable fuels. The dawn of the biofuel and bioproduct uh, uh, industry uh, provides uh, exciting new opportunities to develop uh, new uh, forest products. Over the last even just six months, things have, have really gone forward. What we're going to do is put 40,000 liters of biojet into the Montreal Trudeau Airport. There were almost 500 papers. They've been cited almost over 2,000 times. There have been some very interesting science outcomes. We've had some real successes in terms of the development of new catalysts. We have seen uh, projects of uh, community heating that were not there five years ago, and now they are blooming uh, all across the map. All of this has been happening. Everybody in this room has been involved in this. We'd like very much to thank everybody for their role in that. It's been not uh, insignificant, so I'm grateful to all of you.